Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today is another speed paint as per usual and we are doing fan art which is not that uncommon anymore in my channel apparently and alright never mind. We are doing Umi Sonoda from Love Life School Idol Festival. Now this is sort of a big thing in Japan and it's basically girls, school girls as usual wanting to become idols and I'm playing the game called School Idol Festival it's a rhythm game, pretty fun the songs are hella catchy too, the cards are beautiful as well and my favorite girl from Muse is Umi and I haven't really played with the Aquila side yet since I'm attached to the Muse girls and I really love the Muse song repertoire so I'll get to Aquila sometime, some other time Especially since all of my cards that are max leveled and are idolized are Muse characters, so I'll get to Aquarius in the future. Right, so let's actually get to the drawing. Sorry if my voice is like this, um, I'm not going through puberty. Um, rather, I still have a bit of a cold or the residue of a cold, so my voice sometimes just fails. So please forgive me. So the main goal for this live stream slash speed paint was that I wanted to play around with Clip Studio Paint. And this is a program that's pretty famous now since it's um from what I remember, the creator of Paint Tool Sai teamed up with the manga studio team to create this new version. So in the US and Europe I think it's called Manga Studio 5. Yeah. It's called Manga Studio 5, either the Pro or the EX. And in some other places like Japan, it's called Clip Studio Paint, even though this is the English version. So I've had this program for several years now. Maybe when I started picking up Steam around two to three years ago, I got it. But I was sort of dominated by the interface because there's a lot of stuff to look at and like, oh shit. I can't deal with this much things to adapt to so I didn't use it but I just had it in my computer so basically it's manga studio you're able to do comics manga whatever you need for that kind of work but you're also able to do illustrations paintings like this and there are a lot of handy tools to aid you with that so as you know if you've watched my channel and speed paints I use paint tool Sai. And I thought it's about time that I try out other programs just for the hell of it. And once you get used to Clip Studio, it's actually pretty robust and it's actually pretty good. Um, your first roadblock when getting to Clip Studio Paint is the interface. It's very overwhelming, there's a lot to look at, there's a lot of windows and you're just like, how much stuff do I need to learn? What's the, what's the learning curve? Turns out the learning curve isn't all that big. So if you're used to Sai, uh, my chair needs to be replaced. Anyway, if you're used to Sai, you're used to like the streamlined, easy to understand interface, especially if you get the English patch for it. Right. And when you get to Clip Studio, you have so many brushes to choose from. Like you have a oil paint brush, you have watercolor, you have pastels, you have Inja ink. So you're just like, what the fuck? So, the first thing that I did before starting this entire live stream was that I tested out all the brushes first. So, I tested out the brush pen, like the cheap pen, the calligraphy pen, see what would be the best to transition from. So, I'm using the G pen, which is the most common pen that they use in manga, from what I know. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, it acts a lot like your normal brush tool or your pen tool inside so it's the closest and then for coloring you have stuff like watercolor brushes oil paint and inja ink what i'm using is the oil paint because that's what that's what seems to be the most similar to the one in sai which would be the yeah your normal brush tool is a brush is oil paint basically watercolor seems to have a little bit more of a it's a little weird so i'll try that in some other video but I'm using the oil paint brush and then I made a custom oil paint brush based on the default that makes it a bit more blendy so I can do the blendy thing like this. Mm -hmm. 
So you have a bucket tool, you have a gradient tool. Basically, if you're familiar with Photoshop, add that to uh, add that to Sai, and then add that addition, add the sum to Manga Studio, and then you get Clip Studio. Interface-wise, there are a few things that are pretty missing. Like, in Paintosai, you have this scratch pad thing under your color wheel if you have it enabled. And you can mix colors there and it won't affect your drawing. Since that doesn't seem to exist in Clip Studio Paint, you have to do the mixing on your own. And I do kind of miss that. The, the pen tool, your vector tool, it's pretty robust actually compared to the one inside, except it's not as functional as the one from Illustrator, so it's just really meant for making lines and stuff like that, so it's not meant to be like, to create icons and vectors, you need Illustrator for that. But it's fairly usable. Uh, it's a lot more forgiving than the one inside, since you can somewhat edit it a lot easier here. Hmm, what else? The magic wand tool, which I use the hell lot inside. Inside, it has this blue background so that it shows you what the selection area is. Here in Clip Studio, it functions more like the one in Photoshop where it's just like the dotted lines thing. And I actually do prefer the one from Sai since it's a lot easier to understand which, area, which areas you've already highlighted and which you haven't. With the viewfinder, it's actually a bit confusing at first, but it's pretty similar to the one from Sai. The icons are just different, and a lot of the rotation functions are actually in the in the side now instead of on top. The layer fold, the layer window, um, it just looks complicated, but it's the same. It just shows you more information in the thing, the, the layer thing. Of course, there's the other functions that Clip Studio boasts about, like their 3D thing, which I didn't use here because I wasn't ready for it yet, and it kind of made the computer a bit slow. But that's another thing. When you first start up Clip Studio Paint, there are a few settings that you might want to change. You can easily Google this for Manga Studio or for Clip Studio. There might be a setting that you might want to turn off because it kind of makes it slower. It eats up a lot of RAM, that particular function. So I turned it off and then everything is fast already. So it was just that one thing. I think it's anti aliasing but I forgot. Alright, okay, one thing I did need to get used to was, or one thing I did need, need to customize was um, the shortcuts, mainly. I made it similar to my setup with Sai. Because in Sai, my pen tool was N, my airbrush was B, I think. G was my fill. H was my flip canvas. Except in Clip Studio, it's a bit different, so I had to customize that all of it. Oh no, I'm running out of time. Crap. What else? Uh, regarding the window layout, I also had to customize that. That's one good thing though, it's super customizable. But if you're easily intimidated by that, it will really intimidate you. I kind of was for a while. Because it really takes your time. I took around an hour just to customize everything to be as similar side as possible. And then there's the matter of actually testing out the brushes. So that was like a whole festival of things to do. Performance-wise, it's great. It's very precise. It's also a lot smoother than Sai, from what I feel. Like, one swish with the pen, the distance that it covers is actually a lot more than the one in Sai. Also, pen pressure, I think, is a lot more smoother and a lot more evident here in Clip Studio. Even though I did make use of it as much, but it's a lot, sim it's a lot similar to how I would do line art in traditional works that the pen pressure and precise 
position is the same or uh, very close. But I do feel, however, that Clip Studio Paint would work so much better with a Cintiq or a Leon tablet that's on screen instead of a flat bed, a uh, flat tablet thing that's the tablet for the screens of the tablet itself. It would work so much better because of the position. Well, Sai, I feel, is a lot more forgiving towards the normal tablets that's just disconnected and stuff like that. Oh no, I've been out of breath, cap. Uh, what else? There are a lot more features now that are handy. It's actually quite similar to Photoshop, actually. Uh, except this one's a bit more illustrator friendly, I feel. Because mm. you have stuff like the filters, like the Gaussian blur, you have some graining effects, you can do your multiply, addition, divide, uh, layer, filter? What do you call those? Those layer effects, you can actually do them here now. And there's a lot more things you can do, which you can see what I'm doing with the glass right now and play around with that. Interface wise, it's not as easy to understand as Sai, but there are a lot more functions, so it's kind of understandable. But it could really be something that intimidates you at first. But once you get used to it, once you play around with it, it's actually pretty easy to get into. Okay, and then we're not, we're not of time. Okay, what should I talk about? With this piece, I wanted to play around with mm, doing more backgrounds and trying to do backgrounds that don't take away the attention from the center focus, which in this case is Umi. So, I just really wanted to do detailed backgrounds. And I was watching some YouTubers for digital artists and they do it and I'm like, how the hell do you do that shit? I wanna do it too! Except it takes 300 years to do and I don't have that kind of patience. Which is my fault. I really need to fix it. So what I did is I copy pasted some some of the background and then made it bigger and smaller and crap like that. Other than that, clips to your page is actually pretty good. You just need some time to get familiar with it. It's not an easy thing to be familiar with. You really need to test every single brush, understand which brush works best for you. And also understand and remember that there are brush settings that you can play around with. My advice would be to take the brush first before you play the settings. Maybe next time I'll play around with some other features like the 3D modeling aid thing. And then maybe in another video I might do a manga page look thing. Like using tones and stuff like that. Because I tried using I tried doing a manga with this before for a comic class and so I'm fairly familiar with it. It was, it was pretty good. I just need more time to play around with certain things. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really talked a lot even though it's really hard because my stupid cold. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Deventart. Like and or subscribe. Yeah, first, like or subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Then follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Deventart. And I'll see you around.